for the right location. That's the key. And with me is Paul Ray from ISU. And Paul, why are trees such a great investment? For all the aesthetics they provide, for wildlife habitat, for for wildlife food in some cases, and, and in today's climate, uh, energy savings in both winter and summer. Okay. Now, what are some tips for planting? <clears throat> Well, I think one of the key things is to make sure that right tree in the right place. So look around you, look up, all right, because the trees will get really, really large. They also send out a lot of stuff below ground in terms of the root system. So look both above and below ground, and then make sure that it's the right species for that site so that we'll have an opportunity to do well. All right, and now that we have our shovel, now this hole looks a little shallow to me. What is that good? Well, I think it's, it's good because tree root systems typically don't go very deep, and if I dig it too deep, the tree will settle in the hole but I want to dig it wide to allow the root systems to have a good opportunity that first growing season to expand and occupy that site. So dig it wide, mm -hmm. not deep. In fact, I'd like to have that tree set in there so it's set at the level or maybe even slightly above the soil, the surrounding soil level. Okay, and then what are some keys to success from that first year of a tree? Well, the first year after I get it planted, and planting to me will include putting the soil around there and, and, and firming it in, not packing it in, adding mulch after I get it in there, water it well after we have it, and then during that first year, probably the key thing is water. That's going to be the most limiting factor for growth. So every 10 to 14 days, water it if we don't get some significant rainfall. All right. Thanks for the tips. And if you would like more information on planting a tree, be sure to log on to our websites. For Gardening in the Zone, I'm Liz Gelman.